Hi everyone, welcome to episode 9 of Nifty Knitting Ninja Podcast. It is January 19th, 2015, and this is take 4. Well, obviously I can't count. Take 4 of this episode because, yeah, it's one of those days. But let's not linger on the negative. Um, Shoutouts that I have this week is Karen Vaughn, Lauren Burton, Claude LaRue, and Diane Pyle. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and on that note, I will say that we are filming from a new angle today. I got my mom's old desk, moved into my room this last week. So yeah, trying a new angle today. Please let me know if you guys like it or not. Um, but yeah, let's get into what I've been working on. I'm sorry to go out of the camera range here, but everything is down below me, so I have to lean over to get it. Um, and you guys saw this here a while back. It is Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable in the colorway Parrot. And this is my wood smoke scarf. I was hoping to have some uh, lace done for you guys this week, but I couldn't get to it. So I did get the garter stitch body done, and that's what it's looking like. Turn it over because this side's a little more stripey. I am loving, loving it so far. It's so nice and squishy and it's turning out so well. And hopefully, like I said, I'll have some lace to show you guys next week. And um, yeah, this is coming along. This is the Wood Smoke Scarf by Jared Flood. I will link to that in the show notes down below. And also... I know that you guys are sick of seeing these and I'm so sorry, but I have worked on these a little bit. My Grand Canyon socks, I've got the heels done, and this is the Fish Kiss Lips heel on Raverly. I will also link to that in the show notes below, but I have worked on them a little bit. Um, I'm still thinking I'll make them ankle socks just to get them done, so you'll probably see that as an FO next week. And, oh. I'm going to let you guys see this. I'm sorry if I'm going a little faster, but after four takes, I'm kind of ready to be done with this. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's just, uh, just gets me. But yeah, here's my Hide to Food cardigan, and it's actually upside down. It goes this way. But I had, as you guys saw last week, I had the back and the sleeves done and the ribbing done. Now I'm working my way down the body. So it's growing very, very fast. It's a very easy to memorize chart and simple pattern. Um, and I do have two more of the charted pattern repeats to do. So no worries there. It's it's going to get done hopefully before Friday because I really, really want to wear it Friday for my contradance. Um, oh yeah, and it'll help if I remember to tell you what I'm doing this out of. These are on a size 4, 3.5 millimeter, 40 inch circlers. And I'm doing them out of Premier Yarns, uh, Serenity Garden Yarn, in the colorway uh, Hibiscus. So that's coming along well, and it is striping a little bit, which I wasn't wanting it to, but that's okay, I'm not going to complain about it. And what else I have on my needles is the K Shawl KAL. The Boneyard Child by Stephen West, as I mentioned last week. I will also link to that below. And before I sh tell you about this, I'm just going to tell you guys here, less than a week ago, I went to my Dollar General, my local one, obviously. <laughs> and I found this for $2.25. And everybody says, oh, I want a yarn bowl. Well, all these yarn bowls are expensive, but this works just fine. It holds up to three skeins of yarn. You can poke the yarn out any which way that you need it to and it works fantastic. And my boneyard shawl I am making out of again Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable. I love this yarn in the colorways. And this is a pink purple colorway. It's called Winery. And this is also the same brand of yarn and this is in Dragonfly which is beautiful. And I'm just working it in 
I am changing up the pattern a little bit. Like I said, I am putting eyelets where the pearl bumps are supposed to be every 12 rows. And I'm also changing between those two colors every 12 rows. So as you can see, it's transitioning a little bit, but it's creating a gorgeous, gorgeous shawl. And I'm just about to go into the fifth repeat there. So it's turning out really, really well. You guys can see progress on that. I actually had three people over in Raverly tell, that I know of that are doing the knit along with me. That is the Kiviet Fairy, Not Afraid to Knit, and, uh, give me a minute, I'm sorry. Stitching Out Loud, there we go. As far as I know, those three are doing the knit along with me. If you guys would like to join in, it's not too late. It's a very loose knit along. Whenever you get it done, then you get it done, but please post pictures up in the KAL sticky thread that I have on the RAV group and share pictures with the group. And I will also link to that below. Um, I would really, really love to see what you guys are doing. And also, I took a trip to Joanne's the other day, my local LOYS, and I need to quit going there because my last day of work was Saturday and I'm going to be out of money if I don't quit going there. It's horrible. But this was actually on sale, so I did save money on this. It's a Sock Knitters Workshop, Everything Knitters Need to Knit Socks Beautifully, by Ewa Justice and Stephanie Vanderlinden. And it's, it's a really great book. I mean, it tells you all about knitting socks, everything from cast-on to cuffs to heels to... Let me see toes and it gives you everything that you need to design your own socks plus a few individual sock patterns that one happens to be my favorite it's like a chevron rib and it's so so bright and fun but yeah if you're looking to design your own socks or just looking for something fun or different to do with the socks that you do knit I'd recommend this book it's great and I also got <sighs> Uh, more Lion Brand Jamie in the colorway Peachy because I love this color. I don't want to make more baby stuff out of it. Um, yeah, but yeah. Also, what I got is the Clover Bamboo size 2 5 inch double points. And I already have the size 1s in these, and I can tell you that they work fantastic. I like the shorter double points because I usually do 64 stitches for my socks. And the longer double points just seem to get in the way, and yeah, it's like a circus. But the last thing that I got the other day was Susan Bates sock set. There is five of each size of needle in there, and they come in sizes triple zero, double zero, zero, and one, which is a 1.5, 1.75, 2.0, and 2.25 millimeter. So I haven't tried these out yet, but I can't wait to try them because. They're going to be fantastic. I'll let you guys know how they work. And I did pay about $10 for all those needles. So that's that's really great. And I paid about $8 for these. But I can tell you that they are worth it. Also, I went digging through my sock stash the other day. And I found these little goodies. I believe that this is alpaca. I believe that it's alpaca. Or merino. But... This is a two-ply sock yarn, heavy, heavier sock yarn, and I got this a few years ago at um, a festival, and it's this gorgeous, gorgeous turquoise color, and it doesn't even show up on camera, but it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I love it. It's absolutely amazing, and I found this other gem that I forgot that I had, this green and two shades of pink and yellow and white and I have about 400 yards of this and it's merino sock yarn and I forgot that I had it so you guys might be seeing socks made out of this pretty soon and it's gorgeous and something else that I wanted to show you is this is kind of a flashback to, to me and it just brings back memories but i got it in this little basket here, so I'm trying not to dump everything out. This right here, and I'm not going to take it out of the bag because it is, it'll be crinkly. 
But this is kind of pinkish purple blue all together. This is 100% merino roving. And I have four ounces. And as you can see, I have quite a bit left. Um, oh, my monitor is going off. Sorry. Also, this is some of the first of it that I spun. Yeah, it's really it's not too bad, but not too great. And this it was a homemade spindle, but it's coming apart. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. This, however, I've been spinning a little bit lately. I'm not sure how much I have spun yet. But this I have been spinning, and it's been turning out not super fine, but kind of fine. So I've been doing much better with my spinning on my top roll hand spindle. And I also thought it'd be fun to show you guys some of my first hand spun. Which is horrible. Anybody who spins, I know that you know what I'm talking about, but look at this. I mean, it's just, it's really, it's really horrible. And I forget the colorway of this because I lost the band to it. And I'm not sure how many yards I have, but I believe that this was four ounces. And this I got even less yardage out of, but I think this was my absolute first. Which it turned out kind of even. There's still lumpy parts in it, but yeah, those are my first hand spuns. Like I said, I don't know how much yard of yardage I got, so I gotta find something small and cute to make with those. And also, I have a Maine Coon cat, and she's really, really fluffy and soft, so I've been brushing her and cleaning her fur, and that's all that I have so far. But eventually, I'm going to spin it. I've heard that's really popular lately, and I really, really want to try it. So, um, that'll be fun. And on that note, um, I guess I really don't have that much to talk about this week. I think that was basically it. And, oh yeah, I did get a haircut, though. As you guys can see, it's being a little wacky. But it was a long time due for a haircut, so... Yeah, I just had to throw that in there, and I guess that's all that I have to say this week. I'm hitting 12 minutes, so this is a little bit longer of a show. Until next week, guys, happy knitting, have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.